think you know all there is to know about the economy? A handful of high school students probably know more. And today they showed off their knowledge at the National Economics Challenge, where Steve Leisman got to award one team the championship trophy. They prepped for months. The index most commonly used to measure inflation is consumer prices. And, and it all came down to this. These students beat out more than 10,000 high schoolers in what's become the spelling bee for economics, the National Economic Challenge, where smart is cool, but it takes really, really smart to get a trophy. In the finals, it was Lexington High School from Massachusetts going head to head against WWP High School north from New Jersey. Five trillion. That is correct. And congratulations to Lexington congratulations. High School. You are this year's David Ricardo champions. The David Ricardo, champions. The David Ricardo division. In the advanced division, it was Bel Air from Texas and Mounds View High School from Minnesota. Bel Air High School showed their economic acumen and they got out to a comfortable lead. Bel Air is uh, leading by a score of 11 to 2. And never looked back. An author receives a flat 10% royalty on the total revenue from her book. If the book distributor is a monopolist, at what value of marginal revenue would the author prefer the, the distributor sell the book if marginal revenue equals marginal cost at $4? Uh, marginal revenue equals zero? Yes, correct. Yes. So that means that Bel Air is our national champion. Wow. Nan Morrison, CEO of the Council for Economic Education, explained why the competition is more than just a game. It's about team building, it's about having fun, it's about coming to New York, and it's about the 10,000 other kids wow, that are yeah. learning great skills. Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, Janet Yellen, look out. The next generation of economists is coming. They may be in high school, but they're ready to buzz in right now. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman in New York.